My colleague John Iveson had a column just uh, this week, and he recaps kind of the uh, the long and winding road that uh, Premier Doug Ford went down on in order to actually arrive at some kind of paid sick leave plan for his province, Ontario. But he actually recaps something more interesting, I think, which is that right at the beginning, he notes how at the start of the pandemic, back last year, the Yukon t a territorial government said, okay, we got a problem. People are going to need to isolate. It's going to be a two-week uh, two week isolation period. So we got to give them leave to cover the actual time they're going to be missing. It was a targeted, specific response to the unique needs of the pandemic, and it was brought in place almost immediately. And it got me thinking not just about Doug Ford in Ontario, although certainly it applies, got me thinking a little bit about the federal government as well. I think your understanding of the pandemic, your experience of the pandemic is obviously going to vary depending on where you were during it. If you were in the Atlantic provinces, despite some of the, uh, the setbacks they're having right now, overall, your pandemic experience is very different than if you're in Peel region in the Toronto suburbs, or if you're in the far north, again, which has had a fairly enviable situation, Montreal and Toronto, not we're all going to come out of this thing with our own unique recollections. So I want to just preface this by saying, look, maybe where you are, your provincial government did just fine. A lot of us, though, can't really say that. And all of us on a national level have been failed repeatedly by our federal government. You know, I know that vaccines are the things everybody's angry at Trudeau over. I'm not convinced he could have done much better. I think he could have done better, but I don't think he could have done massively better. This is something that is an incredibly scarce global supply. It's a zero sum game. Every extra dose Canada could have conceivably obtained for itself would have had to come basically from the United States, India, or Europe, and they're not really selling anymore right now. So I think there was a pretty uh, low ceiling to how well Mr. Trudeau could do, but his failures, and there have been some, have been in terms of uh, federal communication, federal border control policies, federal quarantine policies. This has been where the Trudeau liberals have let us down again and again. And you might think I've just radically changed the topic and I've moved on to the feds. No, it's the same topic. Because what John mentioned in his column, that Yukon saw a specific problem and tailored a specific solution to it, and they did it in a matter of weeks just reveals the fact that, contrary to our usual incompetence, it is, in theory, possible for Canadian governments to move quickly to address a problem. Justin Trudeau needed basically about a year to be dragged by successful conservative politicking, because that's all it was. The Liberals got afraid of the success the Conservatives were having with their attack lines on this and said, fine, we'll come up with some kind of border quarantine plan for airport arrivals. It was half-baked. It wasn't a particularly good plan. People continued to easily slip through it, which is how we wind up with new variants here. But it was only after a year of kicking and screaming and eventually starting to realize the politics of this were turning against him, that Trudeau went, all right, fine, I'll do something about the airports. Meanwhile, in Ontario, it was only after his government went into a full-fledged public meltdown that ultimately resulted in a uh, tearful Premier Ford coming out and offering a sincere apology to the province of Ontario that the conservative government went, yeah, you know what, we should come out with a paid sick leave program. What both of these things reveal is that Mr. Trudeau and Mr. Ford and their governments were both fully capable of doing the right thing the entire time. We always, 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 always should have had proper defenses at our airports and borders. Likewise, we always should have had, at least in the context of the pandemic, a plan, a real plan that would allow someone who is precariously employed or low income to sit out an entire isolation period for the safety of themselves, their families and their coworkers and their families without losing a paycheck that they're probably depending on. These were both good ideas. These were both obviously good ideas a year ago. And it took us a year or more of living in this pandemic before bad politics forced the Premier of Ontario and the Prime Minister of Canada to finally, belatedly, and only grudgingly do what was always the right thing. If there is one takeaway from how we screwed up this pandemic, 
That's it. 